it's easy to be fooled into believing that's the way to do it or that's the right way. Being attached to the past might be the worst thing that one could do in terms of being able to make good decisions in this context. Because if we have a kind of a playbook of what's worked and what hasn't worked, but you actually talk about this. Uh, there's a, a passage in the book, you know, that um, I'll just read it. Um, to be beware of the assumption that the way you work is the best way simply because it's the way you've done it before. I sat with this page for almost 10 full minutes, which is not something I do very often. Mm. Maybe you could elaborate on this a little bit. I mean, we want to have, you know, mechanisms and routines we can trust. Yeah. But this is, a, I think, an important warning. Yeah. When, when something works, it's easy to be fooled into believing that's the way to do it or that's the right way you get uh, advice from people who have more experience than you. You explain your situation, they tell you their advice. The advice that they're giving you is not based on your life or your experience, it's based on their life and their experience. And the stories that they're telling are based on experiences they've had that, are, that have very different data points than yours. So maybe they're giving you good advice, but maybe they're giving you good advice for them and not giving you good advice for you. And it's, it's easy when we try something and have a result, a positive result, thinking this is, everybody can do this. You know, the way I, I uh, was vegan for a long time, 22 years, and then I started eating, um, I started eating animal protein and then eventually changed my, changed my diet a few times to the point where I lost a lot of weight. The way that I did it worked for me. Bef right before that happened, I did uh, something that I was told that everyone else who did what you did, they all lost weight for whatever reason I didn't. So the idea that we know what's right for someone else, I, I think it's hard enough to even figure out what's right for ourselves. And if we do somehow crack the code of what's right for us, be happy we have it, and then still know, I wonder if that's the only way. Maybe there's an even better way that we're not considering. You know, like uh, not to get comfortable with thinking we know how it works just because we get the outcome we want.